Hey guys, so today is going to be a video all on its own, and it's going to be Spongebob Squarepants Conspiracy Theories. Uh, just as a heads up, this is for entertainment purposes only, but I do understand that some people may find this subject matter uncomfortable, so I totally understand this might not be suitable for everybody. Okay, so there is so many theories when you go off of Spongebob. I told you guys we would just make its own video because there is so many, so we definitely had to get onto it. So first one I think that almost everybody knows about is the fact that the Krabby Patties are made from crabs. Mr. Krabs is the only crab that it, you see left in Bikini Bottom. And, you know, I think that's the secret ingredient. It is the most common, common theory from that. And it's quite interesting. And I know a lot of people who actually believe this. I also believe this because he's the only one. And, um, because Larry's a lobster. So, um, I definitely found that to be interesting. We're going to slowly get into more of the darker ones. But we had to start with that one because... You know, I think Mr. Krabs is up to something. Now we're going to go into the counter argument, okay, that claims that he actually is making imitation crab meat and really his meat patties are actually vegan. And this is a new one. And this is the true key to his success is that you can get all the great seafood taste without feeling guilty or that you're eating any of your friends. And that that's why people prefer the crusty crab over the chum bucket because the chum bucket actually serves real chum and that could be you know like real fish parts but it wouldn't be any of their friends but if they do imitation then they can get that flavor but without actually eating any of their friends so i did find that interesting and wanted to make sure to include that because i know that would get brought up after talking about the first one but let's get more into more of the deeper and darker ones this is one of the most popular and well-known one and pretty much that bikini bottom is a result of nuclear testing. A lot of people know about this and heard about this, but bikini bottom is directly underneath bikini atoll and it is the islands where the U.S. government did conduct 23 nuclear tests during the Cold War, which means Spongebob and all of his friends would be mutation and their bodies, minds, all warped by the nuclear waste from above and that leaked into the ocean. Uh, the big whole theory, okay, would also explain why everyone in this modern underwater, like, little community, their little town, they send letters, and they also dress from, like, the 50s, is that it's pretty much just, like, a nuclear test site. And, like, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with this on my own. Because you remember how when he goes to that other town, and they all, like, kind of, blah, blah, and they kind of talk like that, you guys know what I mean? But they talk normally. Maybe, like, they're regularly talking fish. And they, of course, they can't talk. They just kind of glub glub and make little, like, almost like farting noises. But then they talk regular. And a lot of people also think that, too, that that could show more that they are the product of nuclear, where those are just regular fish, and that's why it gets weird. But, yeah, that's more of a darker one. But definitely interesting and the most well-known, I would say, minus, you know, Mr. Crab giving up his fellow crabs. But um, that's also very well-known. Another one is kind of similar to the Gilligan's Island theory. If you guys haven't, please check that out. That was part two. Uh, definitely check out that video if this one interests you. But pretty much that the main characters represent the seven deadly sins. This is brought up a lot in a lot of shows, but sloth, pride, greed, gluttony, lust, envy, and wrath. According to a lot of viewers, uh, the seven main characters really represent that. Uh, Patrick is, you know, sloth. Mr. Krabs is very greedy. Um, Squidward is wrath. Plankton is, you know, he's very always trying to steal from everybody. He's very envious and jealous. Um, gluttony for Gary, pride for Sandy, and lust for overly friendly, just over the top SpongeBob. He needs to be like, you know, he needs to send love to everybody. Um, I always found this theory to be interesting. I wasn't as interested as the nuclear war one because that one always kind of really interested me, but that one always interested me as well though because I like how you could do that with a lot of shows though, put the seven deadly sins onto them and it most of the time will work where you can see that for a lot of shows. But um, yeah, that was some of the main theories. There is more, but these are the more popular ones. Let me know some of your theories down below. We can get more in depth with it. This Honestly, there could be a part two to SpongeBob theories. There are so many. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys have any requests. And I really appreciate it, guys. All right, thanks. Bye.